Hey everybody, welcome back. We left off where we, we dropped off the RV to be worked on. We brought it to Mercedes-Benz Van Center in Maple Shade, New Jersey to have the oil changed, oil filter, the fuel filter, and the brake lines bled and flushed. And there were a couple of recalls that Mercedes had that we had to have performed as well. After the service was done, they took it for a test drive and smoke started coming out of the AC vents and they determined that a small fire had started due to an AC line rupturing. They were going to need the RV for uh, a while in order to make the repairs and Mercedes-Benz was gracious enough to offer to rent us a car but we didn't need one. We had the Jeep so we just the Jeep to go to uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island to participate in some family functions. They offered to pay for our hotel stays as well. So we packed up the RV, all the stuff that we would need from the RV, and we packed it into the Jeep and we hit the road and we got to Springfield, Massachusetts at the end of the day. It was, pretty, it was a pretty long day driving but we checked into the Sheridan Springfield Hotel and relaxed and got ready to meet family and friends. The next day was Friday. Mercedes-Benz called us Friday afternoon and let us know that they had done an inventory of all the parts we would need and the good news was that uh, all of the parts were available so there were no supply chain problems to deal with in that respect. There was one part they had to order and it, they expected it uh, early the next week. So Friday night we got together with uh, Allison, our daughter, and her fiance Patrick, and Patrick's parents and his sister and brother-in-law, and when we went and celebrated their engagement. We decided we were going to move to a hotel in North Smithfield, Rhode Island, where we were going to visit with more family and friends. So Sunday morning we packed up the Jeep and checked out of the hotel and spent Father's Day at uh, Allison and Pat's house. We then traveled the short distance to North Smithfield, Rhode Island and we stayed in a Hampton Inn. On Monday, the service manager called us to let us know that the part that they had ordered had come in, but it turned out to be the wrong part, and they were going to have uh, the right part shipped, and they expected it the next day, so that wasn't going to be a problem. On Thursday, we changed hotels again. We were going to be attending a wedding on Saturday at Patriot Place in Foxborough, Massachusetts, so we decided to get a hotel near there so that we would be close to where the wedding was going to be held. Shortly after getting there, the service manager called us to let us know that the RV would most likely be ready Friday afternoon. We explained that we had a wedding to attend on Saturday, and they were perfectly fine with that. They said, just come and pick it up on Monday. So that's what we planned to do. We, uh, we enjoyed the wedding, and on Sunday we had another family reunion to attend. And Monday morning, bright and early, uh, we checked out of the hotel and started driving back to Maple Shade, New Jersey. We got about halfway there, and my phone rang, and it was the uh, service manager. And she explained to us that part of their process is to uh, do what's called a cold start test and that's where they let the vehicle sit overnight and the next morning they start the engine up and take a little test drive and make sure everything's working okay. When the master tech got back to the shop he happened to notice that there was a little bit of water dripping behind the dashboard onto the floor. He investigated and come to find out the heater box uh, was damaged by the, the fire as well and that needed to be replaced. The good news again was that the part was readily available. Unfortunately, it was a pretty big job. It required that he remove the entire dashboard in order to get at the, the heater box. And they expected that to take the rest of the week. So Louise pulled up her spreadsheet of places to see and do. And there was one item on the list for New Jersey, and that was Cape May. So uh, while I had the service manager on the phone, I asked her, I says, uh, well, we're almost into New Jersey, so we're probably going to head to Cape May. And she basically said, that's great. She says, you're going to love it there. So that's what we did. So here we are. What is it? This is day 15? 14. 14. Yeah, it's been our, two weeks today. Two weeks as of today that we dropped the RV off to, be, to have the oil changed. <laughs> right. So uh, we're checking out of our fifth hotel. 
we had to move twice in this hotel so yeah. right yeah we're, we're staying at uh, Cape May in New Jersey and it's the height of the summer vacation season so a lot of the hotels are booked solid so we've been jumping from room to room it's beautiful here it is really beautiful we're um, right across the street from the ocean and there's a nice promenade there and we've been walking every morning and we've yeah. gone to some we've had some great lunches and dinners and yeah. we even went on a so our our restaurant um, budget <laughs> is officially blown <laughs> yeah but for sure. uh, well we can't cook really so we're uh, trying to make lemonade out of lemons so uh, we are still waiting on a call from the uh, Mercedes-Benz dealership and it is what about quarter it's after 10 so we are hoping that um, they're going to call us any minute now and say it's ready come pick it up but we are going to check out of this hotel and we're going to hit the road and we're going to head towards the dealership uh, with a positive attitude yeah. that uh, it'll be ready so hopefully, fingers crossed hopefully it'll be ready because I, I, I yeah <laughs> staying in hotels is not the way we wanted to spend our time so no it's it, it started out luxurious and I, I have enjoyed a lot of aspects of it yeah. but it's the packing and unpacking and just the yeah. eating and just it's it's getting old yeah mm -hmm. so we're ready to move back into our RV and continue our journey to we we're supposed to be going to Vermont uh, we were supposed to be there yesterday so we had to call and postpone but now we're hoping to get there late tonight if we can get the RV back otherwise we'll probably wind up canceling that trip altogether we can't. Uh, because we can't we're not gonna get in anywhere for a 4th of July well, weekend. We'll, go, we'll go to families we'll go to a family oh house. right okay so, um, that that's our backup plan but doesn't okay. make sense to drive all the way to Vermont for one night yeah. so <laughs> so we're up in the air yeah. it's unsettling but we're ready to get back in our RV we hope our RV is ready to yeah. have us back so cross your fingers cross your toes <laughs> let's go yeah. Awesome. Okay. That's awesome. We'll, we'll see you later then. Bye bye. Are we checking out? Yeah. Okay. It's ready. So when we got back to Maple Shade, we met with the master tech. He showed us all the work that he did and explained to us what they suspected the problem was. They found a piece of AC line that had exploded basically and it blew coolant and apparently they use an oil in these lines as a lubricant for the AC system and that lubricant is highly flammable and that's what caused the flash up. We have no idea what caused that to happen. He submitted it to Mercedes-Benz. I guess they'll watch for it as uh, a reoccurring problem. This is, I think this is the first time he ever, ever saw this problem. So it might have been just a fluke. Who knows? He assured us that he went through everything and, and everything looked good. Took it for several test drives and was happy with the performance. And uh, then showed us all the work he did. We're really pleased with the, the outcome. Thank you to... Mercedes Benz Van Center in Maple Shade, New Jersey. You guys outdid yourselves in terms of customer support. We we're really satisfied with the outcome. Uh, it's unfortunate that this happened, but the customer service made up for any inconvenience that we had. We would not hesitate to go back to this dealership for service in the future. So, Mercedes Benz Van Center, Maple Shade, New Jersey. If you happen to be in the area and you need service and you want excellent customer support. I highly recommend them. We're driving through the rough roads of New York City on the highway, but George doesn't care. He's just so happy to have the RV back. <laughs> we're moving, so as long as the traffic keeps flowing, we're good could be so much worse and we've been through these roads before and they have been worse so it's good
we just fueled up we are still let's see pretty about two and a half hours away from the campground um, the traffic has been pretty pretty bad not surprising it being a holiday weekend but we are due to arrive at the campground at nine o'clock this is going to be the first time ever that we arrived at the campground after dark so I guess we're gonna find out how that works out we're we just getting some some grub I guess it'll be Popeye's Louisiana kitchen What'd you get? What'd you get? I honestly don't like eating junk food, but I really like eating junk food. <laughs> I got Popeye's chicken and french fries. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up.